The World Health Organization has confirmed plans of doing a technology transfer to train developing companies in South Africa producing the latest mRNA COVID vaccine technology. Joselito Liquido will tell us why live. Yes, Joselito? Staff World Health Organization Director General Tedros Adam Jebriasis has laid out the plans of pursuing a technology transfer in South Africa to train and accredit companies in producing latest techno and advanced technology mRNA vaccines against COVID. The consortium involves a company called African Biologics and Vaccines, which will act as the hub both by manufacturing mRNA vaccines itself and by providing training to a second manufacturer called BioVac. In time, AfriGen could provide training to other manufacturers in Africa and beyond. mRNA vaccines are believed to be easier and faster to produce and is the technology companies like Pfizer and Moderna now use. Gabriel states that this step is vital in boosting access to vaccines in poorer countries like Africa, where COVID deaths and infections have risen to 40% in the past week. At the same time, South African President Cyril Ramaphosa calls this technological advance a historical step that will boost Africa's life-saving technology and address the inequalities developing countries suffer from. We will be able to plan for the entire value chain from training a critical mass of young people, enhancing and maintaining our supply chain and ensuring the efficient use of medicines. WHO Chief Scientist Sumia Saminathan states that the formal production of the vaccines in the country is targeted to commence in less than a year, with hopes to spread the life-saving technology within the entire continent. Steph? Joselito, are there any more hubs in the pipeline based on WHO's plans? Steph, WHO has received quite a good number of different proposals from the expressions of interest received from different countries. In fact, WHO reported 28 offers were received to either provide the mRNA vaccine technology or to host a technology hub or to do both. WHO is expected to continue in evaluating these proposals in the coming weeks and identify future additional hubs as required. Back to you, Steph. Thank you, Joselito, reporting live.